Okay, quick update on the uh, kiln. It's just nearly finished now. Um, here we have the the arches performed in. The slats over the top. There's one missing there. I'll try and show you a view through there. Drop the lights inside. And the inside. Far corner there's the gas inlet, that side, gas inlet that side, there's a little shelf, broken shelf in front as a a, um, a bag wall, but also in front, inside there, there is also a 45 degree brick. This end here, excuse the light, that's the flue down into the, that's the hole down into the flue through the chimney. Got a new kiln shelf on the bottom of the tag here to see if Alex Shimwell collecting them for me. Um, put that back up there. Here's the chimney. Nice and wide. It's a lot wider than the outlet, but that will allow me to uh, baffle it off. You can see here how I've uh, braced the kiln shelves against the chimney. And it comes through here. It's braced against these bricks here and over there it comes down it's braced against those bricks which in turn are sandwiched have a fire a fire blanket fiber blanket sandwiched between there and the wall so the kiln shelves can't slide that way because the wall stops it it can't slide that way because the, the chimney stops it the chimney will come up straight up and go through the roof there um, got that to build yet and there's the door the only thing I'm going to change is this lintel here I'm going to bring it up to this level here so that brick will go there these will become part of the door top of the door and the lintel will go up and that will give me more access through the door to get into packing this area inside the kiln that's the only drawback with having this kind of design is that you can't get access at the top here you have to sort of shuffle through um, I've just managed to get the bricks wedged in here they've got to be finessed in uh, when you put uh, bricks on and shelves in everything everything compresses and these need uh, fine tuning so that's what I'm going to use these half bricks here that I've put in at the top these will be chamfered down and they'll be my filler bricks at the top of the door as I say, that lintel there will come up to under this course of bricks here. Um, gas intake is there, goes in, hits a hits a 45 degree brick, and travels up the inside of the chip up the side of the chimney. Here's uh, another port there that will have um, my additional. It will have my additional gas uh, burner for. Uh, excess for extra heat if I need to boost it up if the burners don't get high enough in temperature and also that's my access for the wood it'll go through that hole at the end of firing and it'll sit on the kiln shelves inside I shall stack slightly away from it and leave a little six inch gap all the way up and the flame hopefully will go up come up here with the wood and into the kiln and um, that's it a bit of tidying up to do here from all the kiln brick sewing. Bit of tidying up in there. Uh, I think we've uh, brought the back of it. This front arch here needs to be um, cemented in with fire clay, and it will have. I'm going to put as much fibre blanket on top of the um, the roof as I can. Full roll of it's about seven metres. So I should get about four or five uh, thicknesses, a good 12 inches of fibre blanket over the top there to keep the heat in. So I think uh, we should get to temperature well enough. Okay, there we have it.